Okay guys, so I recently posted a photo of all the goodies I got from a Birdie Beauty and Laura Mercier Beauty School class where I got to learn a lot of things about technique and less is more and kind of the Laura Mercier way of doing makeup. So I asked if you guys wanted to see me do a full face using only Laura Mercier and you said yes. So I'm going to do that today. I have a couple meetings today so I'm going to keep it pretty natural but playing with some new stuff. So starting off, I'm going to use primer. And I have the foundation primer in Radiance. This is great if you have dry skin. I love Laura Mercier primers because they do not add any texture to the skin. It just helps you with your foundation application. Next up, Laura Mercier gave me this foundation. I actually did a full first impression tester Tuesday when this first came out, and I really loved it. It is the Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition foundation. I'm in the shade Sand Beige. Now this is a great full coverage. It's great for dry skin. You, they have two versions. You can get the oil free for more oily skin. And what Laura Mercier says is to really just target the areas you need color correction or camouflaging or foundation and not to apply foundation all over your face so you start from the center and you kind of work your way out but not to do a full face of foundation so that's what I'm going to try today I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier sponge as well I'm going to go in with my under eyes now with concealer. I'm using the Secret Concealer for Under Eyes in 2.5. I find that if I conceal my under eyes, I can kind of see better where else I need concealer for the rest of my face. To set my under eyes, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Super finely milled. It's perfect for setting your under eyes. It helps brighten a little bit. I just look so much more awake. Now I want to do my brows because I feel like when my brows and my under eyes are done, I feel and look better. So. The first thing I have from the brows is this Brunette Brow Dimension Brow Wax Gel Mascara type of product. I'm going to do that first before filling in. I don't have a brow powder. I might be able to use an eyeshadow from this palette, which is the Eye Artist palette. So I feel like I still need a little bit more definition because I am going for a fully put together look. I'm going to use an angled brush for my brows and then I'm going to go in with this truffle shade. So next up, I'm going to go in around my nose, any of my discoloration areas with this Secret Camouflage Concealer and this is number 4. And I have a brush for that, which is their Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brush. And you can just mix up the color and you want to warm it up is what they say. Then to set my face makeup, I'm going to use this Laura Mercier Powder Puff and the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And how they have us learned to do it is like the traditional way of setting. So you put the puff over. And then you fold it up in a taco. And then you 
press it. to set. Now I feel like I have a lot of darkness on my eyelids, so I have some of these eyeshadow primers and I thought it would be really fun to use these to help brighten up. So this would be more like a neutralizer to use just as a regular base, but these two are definitely way more brightening. I'm going to use the shade Cotton to diminish the darkness and also prime my lids. Now you guys know how much I love eyeshadow sticks because they're usually really long wearing, crease proof, they're great for a base, they're also just really easy to use. I am going to go in with copper, I think this is so so pretty, it's just this beautiful gold and I'm going to use that from the lash line all the way to my crease and blend it out. go in with the artist palette and define my crease and brow bone using these three shades and this one. So I'm using Fresco first. Vanilla nuts for my brow bone. I'm going in with truffle for my outer corner. Now I'm going to use rose gold to line my bottom lash line. I'm really nervous to try this one out. This is their Tight Line in Black Ebony and it's basically a cake liner where you wet your brush, create a little paste, and tight line your eyes with this. I'm going to use this ink eyeliner for a small little wing. I'm going to smudge truffle on my lower lash line. Next up, I'm going to use Matte Radiance Fake Powder in Bronze 02 to warm up my face. I'm going to use Addiction, which is a face illuminating powder. specific blush so I'm gonna use of course my Marc Jacobs air blush in flesh and fantasy just because I don't have a blush from Laura Mercier because my skin is super super dry we're gonna buff everything with a clean buffing brush to blend all of the face powders this is kind of my trick to kind of make my skin look less dry and patchy. I'm gonna set everything because my powder is done with the Amal Amala Hydrate Jasmine Toner. And I'm gonna apply some false lashes and then I'll come back with my lips.
So I have my lips on, everything's done. Um, I hope you guys liked seeing all this, but if you wanna see how everything wears, I'll do a couple check-ins throughout the day. There's not gonna be a flash or no flash test today because there's nothing with SPF in it. So I did my lashes. If you guys want a lash tutorial, let me know. I learned some tricks from the Laura Mercier Beauty School with Birdie Beauty, and I've been loving how I apply the lashes thanks to the tips I learned from Jen. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take you along my day. So we're out at lunch, and I kind of like how this looks. I still have some like, I probably could have concealed more right here. But I think it looks good. How's my makeup look? What? How's my makeup look? Very good. Very even. Really? Uh huh. Dolly, how does my makeup look? <laughs> Where's Cooper? Is Cooper back there somewhere? Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey guys, it's ooh, it's 5:37 and I just got back from one of my meetings. This is natural light, evening light. I thought I'd show you. I'm quite surprised at how well the concealer and the foundation is holding up considering I used like super hydrating on my oily areas, but my skin Try. Lipstick is still stained my mouth. Like, I ate a cheeseburger and chips and french fries and it's still there. I'm loving the eye makeup. It's still there. It hasn't creased or anything. The eyeliner hasn't transferred onto my lid, which is always a problem. And the tight line hasn't bothered my eyes at all. So I'm very impressed. Very impressed with the brows too. Just really impressed. Here is a dry patch, so just ignore that patchiness. Um, not makeup problems like user problems so yeah i'm really happy with it i'm going to show you guys like super close like how the foundation's wearing i mean this is really like a revisit if you think about it but i'm not wearing it all over my face like i used to and i'm going to touch up a little bit because i have another meeting i'm going to for dinner and the highlight looks really pretty um I'm just really happy with everything. I feel like really beautifully made up. Obviously, my eye makeup is a lot darker than normal, but I'm really happy with everything. Um, did I tell you guys it's 5.30? It's 5.30. I put this on around noon, so it's been five and a half hours. I am going to powder just a tiny bit right here. I'll show you guys as I powder. So we're going to close this. It's going to get dark. Oh, wait. I have to leave that open because the dogs need to go out. I look orange, but still good. <laughs> if you can look orange and good. So what I'm gonna use now is actually what they recommend for touch-ups and like on the go, because nobody wants to carry a translucent powder with them. So this is their matte translucent. I used to love their regular translucent. I've gone through like multiples of that one, but this one has a slight green tinge to it. And I'm just gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab this powder brush. And just kind of dust over my T-zone because that's where I get oily. But not go crazy because I get really dry right here. So you can see that powder does a really nice job at absorbing any oils, but it's not um, making me look super powdery. I mean, I look a little bit whiter right now, but it's also because it's like more blue light through this window. But I really like it. I like the makeup. Yeah, I think it looks really good. By the way, this is a new vlog camera. It's the same vlog camera I usually use, which is the Canon G7X, but this is the Mark II. So you're getting even more Ultra HD, so you can see every hair, every pore, and every hair on my face. <laughs> I know you guys really like that. Um, I also don't ever want you guys to get like a false idea or a false perception of what the makeup's gonna look like when you buy it and use it at home. Cause I get that a lot. Like I'll be like, oh, so-and-so uses that and they look like they have a filter over their face. So I'm gonna go buy that. 
and then I put it on and I'm like yeah it's good but I don't look like her and it's usually because of studio lighting and uh, skin filters this is not gonna be filtered and this is whatever light I feel like using in the moment usually natural light or really really bad yellow light from normal homes because that's what we usually see so yeah I upgraded the camera just a little bit plus I needed a second camera so I could film the podcast I'm really happy with it. Honey, mm -hmm. what do you think? I can't see you. Is good? He's not looking. I'll check in tonight, but this is the last time I can use natural light. Hey guys, it is 10.42. It's almost 11 p.m. I'm going to take this makeup off, but I have to say... It held, it held up pretty nicely. Eye makeup has not budged whatsoever. The liner, the eyeshadow, the caviar stick, none of it budged. It did not like even smear down here. Now the foundation isn't looking so good, but my skin's also super dry still. You can definitely see the texture, but I don't expect foundation to hide the texture. So I still think it looks really good. Like. This is like, if you came up to me and looked at me like this, you'd be like, ooh. But if you come up to me like this, I think I look okay for it being on mm, almost 11 hours. I think it looks good. My under eyes still look good. The concealers look good. I, f I just feel like the foundation um, with the way I applied it just wore off with my really, really flaky dry skin right now. So, um, if you guys enjoyed today's Full Face Tester Tuesday, don't forget to let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see more types of videos like this. Uh, this is not something I normally do. I normally just pick one product. So let me know what you think. Um, this was viewer suggested or follower suggested in terms of social media. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. I definitely recommend all of the caviar sticks, the eyeshadow primer, the eyeliner, the little felt tip eyeliner, and the under eye concealer was really good. I love the baked highlight in 01, so I like that one a little more than the one I used today. Um, yeah, the bronzer was really nice. Obviously, it's worn off by now, but I really like the bronzer, and the powders are pretty fun to play with. So um, the under eye secret brightening powder does not have talc in it, but the translucent one does. And you know, you can make your own decision if you wanna use it or not. I'm still gonna use it. I try to uh, limit it on a daily usage. Just also if you're sensitive to it, cause I know a lot of people are sensitive to it and break out from it. Let me know what you think of the video. And uh, let me know if you tried out any Laura Mercier products and which ones you like. I hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. And if anything, I just hope my videos took your mind off of whatever it was you wanted to maybe de-stress and relax from. And if you chose my video to watch for that purpose, I really appreciate it. And I'm super honored that you are watching me as you unwind and de-stress. And I will see you tomorrow in Love It or Leave It Wednesday. It'll be an empties video. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.